The best laid plans come crashing down on this week's episode of Krypton, and in true form, we're here to help break down what it all means. I'm your host, Matt Hiscox, super fan, super nerd, and super excited to jump right into this week's episode of Decrypting Krypton. First off, we've met Sardath and Alana. Oh, you tightwad assholes! Assholes? Seriously? Does hearing a disembodied voice on a weird ship count as meeting someone? It's this week's guest host, Holly Payne. We're seeing kind of Adam interact with Sardath and Alana. But as we saw, apparently Adam and Alana have a past that was disappointing. I've never seen him care about anything so much before. Certainly not me. I don't think you can tr trust anybody who says I'm a hero as many times as Adam Strange says. On account of being a superhero, Back on Earth, I'm a hero! Mm -hmm. For Adam Strange, he's sitting there saying, in order for Superman to live, Krypton is supposed to die. Sorry. And I think that's one of the really poignant, great things about the show, is that everybody has a, a reason that they're fighting for, and I, I don't believe. None of our hands are clean! This week's featured artist, Jim Mafood, had some thoughts on the believability and kind of the emotions that guide the cast of characters of Krypton. It's not just a good guy versus bad guy. They're crafting kind of a multi-layered, complicated uh, character that obviously has specific motives and not just kind of a one note, one dimensional guy who's trying to like you know, shoot a space laser into the sky. Like casualties are a big factor in this episode. Yeah. I have to say that I think that uh, it's pretty amazing that they fully went there and that Brainiac blew up a child. Just completely blew her up. But here's the thing, did she blow herself up or did was she blown up by Brainiac? He's not who you think he is. Taking me down was the greatest thing you could have done. I think she pushed the button. Well, I don't know, I disagree with that. It makes more sense that Brainiac blew her up. We know the scope of his, his evil. Using a little girl that you befriend as a bomb, I don't know if that is uh, the most noble of actions. It's keeping the viewer on, its, on their toes. Something like you wouldn't expect that to happen. It would definitely add to his, you know, his whole devilishness thing. But Adam sacrifices himself to save the day. He ends up becoming the hero who saves everybody from a little girl. Little bomb, big bang. Well, I have some questions. For example, who is the woman that is at the very end of the episode with Adam? What the f- My first guess was that it was Alana. At the same time, I could see it possibly being Hot Girl. We've heard a lot of speculation, and we actually got a chance to catch up with Cameron Welsh, the showrunner of Krypton, at WonderCon to ask him that exact question. There's a mysterious blonde woman who's introduced at the end of episode 8. There is. Who might be a DC Comics character that people recognize. Yes. That's a, a, a character who has been um, talked about in, in, throughout the season a, a few different times. Those, those who have a, who have a, a good knowledge of, of the DC mythology and, and the Superman story will, will know who that character is. But, and they'll also notice that there's a significant change in what we've done uh, with, with the character. Be sure to catch the latest episodes of Krypton on Sci-Fi. For Decrypting Krypton, I'm your host, Matt Hiscox, and now I'm terrified of children. Boom!